expanding out from what must have been a massive explosion, a supernova. So bright that when light from the explosion reached the Earth in 1987, it was visible with the naked eye. And so violent, it triggered a string of nuclear reactions, forcing atoms together, creating new elements. Gold, silver, platinum. Blasting them out into space. The gold in the ring on your finger was forged in a massive supernova like this. Trillions of kilometers away, billions of years ago. Before we left home, the universe seemed separate. Something out there, up in the sky. We were wrong. The story of the universe is the story of every one of us. It's comforting to remember as we venture through this abyss. Further and further. Faster and faster. The Andromeda Galaxy. Two and a half million light years away. It's moving through space at nearly a million kilometers an hour. Everything in space is moving apart like shrapnel from an explosion. We're seeing this galaxy as it was when our ape-like ancestors first walked across the African plains. We go further through space and further back in time. This doesn't look right. A whole galaxy exploding. The only thing large enough to cause an explosion on this scale has to be another galaxy. It looks like the end of the world, but we've seen enough to know things are never that simple. This galaxy won't die. It'll be reborn. A new shape, perhaps even new stars, as dust and gas collide, creating friction, shock waves, triggering the birth of stars. There's order in this chaos, a pattern behind the infinite variety, an endless cycle of birth and death, creation and destruction. It's a pattern woven through the vast fabric of space that binds each of these galaxies. There are billions of galaxies in the universe, each with billions, even trillions of stars. Possibly more stars than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. And all of these are just the stars that exist now. What about the stars that have been and gone? All the stars being born, yet to be born. We're finally beginning to see the big picture, and it's grander than we ever imagined. This galaxy. The huge pinwheel galaxy is so far from Earth that if we send a message home now, it'll take 27 million years to get there. Who knows whether our species, our planet, will still be around to receive it. Most likely not. travel on, back through time. Past the point where the dinosaurs were wiped out. Past the moment where the first creatures clambered onto land. Two billion light years from home closing in on the edge of the universe, going back to the beginning of time. This isn't a galaxy. It's brighter 
than hundreds of galaxies put together. A blinding beam of energy bursting out for trillions of kilometers. Something this big, this bright, must be incredibly powerful. Experience tells us, out here, power equals danger. It looks like a quasar, the deadliest thing in the universe. If it is, then our journey could be over, just as the end is almost in sight. The deadliest, most powerful thing in the universe, a quasar. A swirling cauldron of super hot gas, brighter than hundreds of galaxies. The source of this awesome power lies deep inside the heart of the beast. A heart of darkness, a supermassive black hole as heavy as a billion suns. whole stars, sucking their gases into the quasar, devouring them, until they're nothing, lost forever from the visible universe. We've seen the worst the universe can throw at us, the most powerful and destructive forces the universe produces. Now it's onto the very edge of the universe. It's almost within reach. We'll need to go further, go faster, if we're to cross the final reaches of the known universe. Eight billion light years from home. More galaxies. But these look different. Ragged, small, close together. We're so far back in time, we're seeing these galaxies as they were before the Earth was even born. They're still young, still growing. We're getting closer to where and how it all began. 12 billion years ago. Look at the galaxies now. They're more like primitive plankton floating in a vast, dark ocean. It's magical. Clouds of dust and gas, dancing, forming a shape, merging to make embryonic galaxies. This is how our own galaxy was born. They're disappearing. We've gone back before the stars were born. Into a cosmic dark age. And before that, light. The afterglow from a massive explosion. The explosion which created the known universe. <laughs> 